Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, first of all, welcome to the... We're going to be playing Fallout London. But first... First... Well, there's a bit of an issue. You see, I used to use Twitch Studio for recording and streaming and all that good jazz. But I recently had... Well... Switch over to OBS because they decided to drop support for it. So this is the first video I'll be using OBS for. I used it in the past, but it's changed a lot since I uh, had to reinstall it, do all the settings and stuff, set up the always gay sound levels, theme, stuff like that. And, well, it's been... Right. Anyway... Like I said, today we're going to be playing the uh, Fallout London mod for Fallout 4. By all that. And going through it. I'll kind of explain what my process is going through the game. But just so we're all aware, if the sound levels are off or anything, if I'm too loud or the game is too loud or something, yes, yeah, because I messed up the settings. Trying to get the uh, stuff working. So yeah. Go. Alright folks. So here's the plan. We're going to switch over. Boom. Here. Where I should. Bottom left. Right. Whatever. Anyway. I don't know why there's a little bit of a delay. When I switch open to. Fallout London should show up here in just a minute. There it is. We get this lovely intro screen, which honestly kind of messes with my eyes and brain. Here we go. Fallout New Title Screen. New London? Sorry. This is Fallout London, the title screen. <clears throat> anyway. Brilliant. It's. It's not like those mods where you download the mod and then, you know, you start the game as normal Fallout and you go to a specific area that initiates the mod. This one is like a whole new game. You are put directly into it. You'll see what I mean when we get through there. We hit a button. We the usual start menu here. However, if we have a load, we can still see all of my uh, previous saves. Also a test save here down here we can see all my other days which I'm not sure I want the thumbnails to show up on because some of those might have some not ideal mods but I can't load them anyway we're gonna go to new game and go in like I said I did go through a little bit of it just to make sure I could you know, do some stuff and to see how I kind of wanted to build my character and all that stuff and a lot of something fun so we'll be doing that and that one Oh, another ado. A loading screen behind me. Don't worry. There we go. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities. The will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, 
the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot nights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war, war never changes. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. Yeah, that is the intro series. Intro video thingy. All the follow ons have. Now, character creation. Usually I choose female. But for this one, no. Subject has been performing adequately. No spikes and visuals. Nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe will be pleased. How are they in appearance? I'm certain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. Okay. Now we get to create our gloriously handsome character, which we start out as Elder Maxim, huh? Kind of. Or is this always Nate's default look? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've gone through character creation. I don't know why I thought Elder Maxim. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We don't play in third person often enough to really care about what our person looks like. We can go into extras quick, though. Something. There we go. Hold on, it didn't save. Faces for we'll Accept. We have a face tattoo. You know what, let's put this one on. A little, a little neck tattoo looks like an eagle down. That's a little something neat, I think. Alright, what do we got for, I guess, Stuff. Ah. Ah. You know what? Let's make it like really tired. That looks great. Marking freckles. Um. That's what this in general. All right, let's go. All right, it's gonna be your hairstyle. Color about. I'm gonna I'm gonna look away and just kind of press up and down on my things here for a little bit. Eh. We're going blue dye, huh? I'd rather not have a weird hide color. Alright, still gray? Okay. That'll work. This is our guy. Wait, where's my neck tattoo? Hold on. There we go. Okay. Perfect. This is our guy. What should we name him? 
from character. Hmm. I have to think of it. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. And with zero anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Okay. So. Special stats. <clears throat> I've decided what I want to do. We're going to max out strength. We're going to raise agility. Raise luck. And uh, let's get ourselves some perception. No, let's let's go five for both of those. A little bit of a. Uh... Do I want perception? Ah, we'll just go endurance there. Okay. Oh. Nah, let's go a little more agility. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna be our stuff. So. What should we name our character? Now, the obvious thing to do would be to name it something like stereotypical British, like name, to kind of meme it, right? Like, uh, like I can't even think of anything off the top of my head. But uh, what to name? I, mean, I could just go with mine. Call it good. But do I really want? Hmm. Let me take a couple seconds. I'll think, and if I cannot come up with something... Got it. Original. Fine. Alright, let's go. Alright, so this is uh, interesting. It's like your usual traits you see in Fallout. Um, however, there's a couple that are new here, like Sleepwalker. Is it a curse or a gift? Who knows? You often find yourself waking up in strange places. No memory of how you got there. I think that would be fun to have. Throw it out there. It's really cool, right? You just go to bed and all of a sudden you're in a random place. Who knows? Let's see, what else do we want? The so numbskull could be good since we're already running a strength and then in some luck build right now. That might be good. Uh, don't care about that one. Or that one. I do kind of want hoarder so I can just hoard stuff. Hmm. I also want this. No, we're going heavy handed. <laughs> I want to do more damage. And uh, all that. And I don't really use power attacks much anyway. Doing a melee build. Gentlemen, I trust everything is going yeah. well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. See that it's done. Bob. Seems to be rousing a bit. Did you just not saying that? Let's put them back under. Been looking around like... I've already seen this one. Surprise me. But, uh, anyway, they get attacked here. And for some reason, the intruders kill the two scientists, but not me. The guy in the tank. Maybe they think that I'm already dead due to the um, tank being cracked and being like something like that. Anyway, it's loading right now. That was like a sped up area instead of a now anyway we're we're here still in our glass cage but we can punch our way out now. I wonder if this glass like construction mechanic is anywhere else in the game or if it's like only here <laughs> meow okay Alright, scientist, I'm gonna take your stuff, thank you. 
Another scientist. Hoard her. Broke in from here, but there's nothing. I can't open up hats or anything. You can hidden tab. Actually, hold on, real quick. Uh, setting. Play. I turn on brightness. Oh. Two minutes. It's dark for me, so it's pretty dark for you. Also, let's um go into survival. Let's not fast travel. Let's only slave when I sleep, because that'll put like a uh, an added layer into things, right? I'll have to sleep, but then sleepwalker could trigger. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If, if we need to, we can always, you know, adjust things down. To um way. Alright. We cannot. Locked in. Anyway. Go ahead and grab some supplies. Looks useful to us. We'll grab those fingies and an ear. Nice. So ghoul. Still moving in there. I think, I'm assuming I can make like settlements and stuff in this. I don't know why. It seems like my zoomed in or something. Like, my FOV is not as wide as it should. Also, it's really quiet. I can, I can for right. I can ammunition. I can roll. Easily. I don't know why I'm being quiet, like I'm sneaking around or something, but... That's fine. All right. Yeah, I I know it's like pitch black for you guys in there. Trust me, it's pitch black for me. Canter, bone cutter. Who knows when we'll find all the What happens if I get overweight before I can enter my inventory? Oof. I think they thought about that, like what would happen. Anyway, there's some stuff littered around here. One other thing that's interesting up here. Woman. Vacuum tubes? Oh yeah, give me those. Remember those have like copper in so This right here is terminal. We hop into it. Team Follum. Uh, thank you for playing our mod. Thanks to the Patreons, the coffee, the supporters, the Kofi. Bye. Anyway, this is just a, a thing to I well, thank everyone for reading the game, stuff like that. I just thought that was neat. You wanna play the game and read? Can take of cause no, we bag. Let's wear socks for a second. Anyway, we will need food and water. Stuff from that. Can can run, which. Source of metal and wood. Any like cake. So I didn't really look around much when I was um going through initially. I didn't get very far into it. Got to the point where I could look at my perks and stuff. Just a um, terminal. Terminal. Lock the door. I'm not gonna any of that stuff. I mean, I could. You know what? Oh, hey. That's what stuff he's got. Okay. Ow. Oh, jeez. I did not expect to get, like, help from Brad Shrews. Brad Shrews of the car. Adrenaline is increasing your damage. Stay awake to get more kills. 
and increase the gold. Okay. Well, god dang. We're in half health and we just got into like a little scuffle. Let's see. Mission. Redacted and corrupt. Do not write out mission statements. Log entry. Troopers have secured us a batch of the rad shrews for testing, but preferred work with rad rats, but because they were chased off by their counterparts. Judging by the size of the rad shrews, London Bridge Station, I don't entirely blame them. Testing on the captured rad shoes is going well. I'm pretty odd. Rad shrews is so annoying for me to say. Multiple have died, but the remaining ones are stronger than ever. I'm proud of the one we affectionately refer to as Big Dave. I'm now going to move us on to the next stage of development. We'll introduce more vitamins into their diet. We'll also simultaneously reduce their feed to see how they cope. I predict a lot of them will die. So we better get the nests ready to capture some more. Oh, nets. Nests. What do you mean to see how they cope? Wouldn't they just, like, starve? Unless you're gonna, like, let them eat each other. Huh? Log three. Smythe should be content with her. Once progress has been made and exciting new things have been discovered. Not only did the rad shrews pass expectations, but some of the results correlated with our prized subjects. Door. Utterly fabulous to see it all coming together. Then you like Smythe will visit the laboratory soon and see our progress. And the rad shrews. Welcome to this mammal investigating letter. We have it over here. Like D. I don't need one of them called Big Dave, or all the other just lab rat. Does that mean there's gonna be like a huge one I'm gonna have to fight at some point? That is named Big Dave. I don't know what these. Manual quick saving and most saving. Able to. Game fine. Or we. There's a thing here. This thing. Device. Call it. Going to serve as our pit boy. Even though there's pit boys right next to us, we're gonna take this thing. Take a cassette player. I actually didn't like watch this like attentively when I first came through here. Okay. So welcome to our pit boy thing. Have our stats here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put some stuff on. Oh, wow, those are really white gloves. Angel lab coat. Radiation. I don't have to worry about radiation. Lab coat. Have some semi skimmed milk and. Rad resistance 25, but I get 25 rads. What an interesting... I wonder if eating tea... Bobby pin... Here... Data. Broken angel. Escape the facility. Now, there are workshops. That's good to know. Have our map, which if found here... It's fairly sizable. Not like the hugest thing, even. It's roughly the size of Diamond City. Uh, not, not not Diamond City, but the whole city around Diamond City, at least. So, not bad. And we have our radio. This is the British Broadcast Ministry. I'm Bradley Fortworth, your host and guide through the wonderful world of classical music. All right, cool. But before we uh, that, have a utility belt, which I don't know what it does. But if we out, we that have a belt on the out. There. If I actually take the lab coat off, kind of funny if I put the test subject back on. You can see that the belt is just like not secured to me at all. 
which I thought was funny. Anyway, now that we can actually see what we're looking at, I have to try to go in the... We can finish looting the place. Camera. Ooh, those are good. Those are... Anything else around here that we want to take? We can use these pit boys, but they don't have anything. Say anything. Smite's terminal. Let's try wait. Likeness is one. Okay. Not that. Could be lays. Nope. We know it has an A in it. Wait. Could be camp as well. Oh, okay. Find our bugs. If I were a bug, we're right there. Oop. Of course, moved one I already uh, clicked on. The um the fact that these are so like terminals aren't like full screen, it's hard to control with them. Are those all the duds? Oh we'll exit cut. Any mini money will boss. It is. Okay. What about mass? No, so it's not a double S. So what about a B O M B? No, not a B O. You know the reason that I like to um. Do some tries first before I hunt for bugs. Is because I'm gonna hit a bug that resets tries before I use. It. Okay, so we know that we have boss, which has two, but it's probably an OS. They're an OS word, like rows. Go. Okay, so my log one. A patrol up in Newham. Should I give him a rich attack? A patrol up in Newham is discovered in a stockpile of American technology. Hidden away on a military cargo plane. It doesn't actually sound like Irish. Something British, but... At London City Airport. The flight log suggested that the ground after the United States annexation of Canada been held in containment until the bombs fell. Furious! I'll have some of it brought down to see if it's salvageable. He's going to be Irish now. I don't care about a British accent. I like Irish ones. They're just fun to use, aren't they? Alright. Say what you will about the Americans. And I always did. But their technological trinkets were delightful. Let's forget the atom bomb and look at their more practical contributions. Take the Pip-Boy, for example. Robco design. It's a marvelous little invention. It contains all one needs to carry out daily tasks. As a radio, global positioning system, task management, and countless other utilities. Who needs a brain when you have all that? Obviously, I would never use such a device, but I could see it being useful in some way. I'll reverse engineer it. I there always was room for improvement with Robco inventions. I've come to the correct conclusion that the wrist-mounted device would be impractical for use within my organization. Whether it be the scientists or the troopers, they have the immaculate accuracy. A hunk of metal strapped to their wrists would hinder that. Yes, a handheld ergonomic device would be suited for our needs. I'd also like to install a proper Geiger counter. Don't get me wrong. It's impressively not concerning that they had the foresight to include one. But you can barely read the thing on this model. Not ideal. I had a look at some other models. Turns out Voltec made revisions of their own, specifically the kind of video assisted targeting system. Intriguing. A troopers, of course, can already outperform this technology, but it might well include it. I'll also make it compatible with laboratory mage locks. Why not? Mag locks, not. But, uh... 
looks like a mere completionist little project. The Attaboy has finally been born. Angel technical task is... I just need to work out the uh, the kinks and we'll have a project prototype. So I'll have to put this project on the back burner for a while. A far more pressing matter to deal with. So it stands for Angel Technical Task Ass Okay. Well, well your prototype, baby. If it's a prototype then why is it already set up to you? <coughs> and like the text here is like even worn away, so. Oh, that was loud. Okay. Oh. More free stuff. No, oh, anyone in? A targeting card. Going without sleep will make you tired. Negatively affecting your stats. Find a bed and sleep. Tiredness. No, if there were one around. You have a doubt. You got it, boss. Uh-huh. Yeah, no power. I can remove it from the main network. But... What the fuck's that on the camera? Right outside, look. It may one of the floors. I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find the wrong way. Reverting to emergency power. I love those kind of sequences where, like, the lights go out one at a time. Anyway, it wants us to pick up this torch down here. By torch, it means a flashlight. They're British. I don't know why I'm picking up the torch, though, when I can just, like, toggle this on. Like, count as a weapon or something. Hmm. Bye. One third person. I don't know if there's a difference, but I'm gonna call I'm gonna call a Pip Boy the entire time, not an Attaboy. It looks like the Pip Boy. One of those. Although I think the Attaboy didn't have this like lag to. Or camouflage. I check. What? I don't know why I put the extinguisher heavy. I'd like to find something I can use. I'm sorry, did that just say Excalibur? Or what did that what did that say? It did say Excalibur. It is a apparently a drug that increases all stats by two. Suppose that makes sense. Ooh, energy set. Get over here. Oh, had an accident. Dang. And this is basically as far as I got in the uh, the demo here. Not the demo, the uh, while I was just messing around, figuring stuff out. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you guys the perks yet. Well. We'll save that until I level up. Craft anything here? I can. Get Caltrops. I don't know if it'd be worth getting those right now. I mean, it's it's something, but. The 
I'll let this sun. A little later. Where are you going? Out. I doubt you'll make it far. Someone such as yourself. Tell me stupid. You're you not are wrong. more useful as a lab rat. Warning. 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 But alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Off you go, then. Be seeing you. Emergency decontamination in effect. Is that this door? Can I... No. Probably said an accessible door or something. Why did that room have an intercom? Expert? Aw, oh, come on. Now you're just making me wanna flip behind it. Going up. Or just use the console to unlock the door itself. Is that a, a dog bed? Lots oh, of door. Hmm. Hello? You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Escaping all that hubbub. With all you've been through, I'm impressed. Are you? I literally just walked out. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Reginald, you prick. Now, I'm sure you have many questions, and perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe, and remember, mind the gap. What gap? What gap is there to mind, sir? That door he unlocked, or... Like... Oh. Okay. Let's see how the hell... It was time to loot some... Arched. I think I got some oil I can drink now. And a bed. I could count. There. I did say they modified it. Made the Geiger counter more visible, so I wanted to see exactly what it looked like. Where am I going? have a weapon like that you fill a bottle dirty water but you know what fine thanks my thirst please thanks. oh we got back here your war shopping bag football camera 
Nice. I mean, I don't really know if, in fact, um, technology parts, camera stuff, is going to be rare as it was in. this or cost oh very much I'm gonna go. ooh two it's five percent experience all right um or right. wait Heavy accessory at the top, right? Yep. But. Those would have steel. I thought they were something else. Definitely keeping those for the fiber optics and the crystal. Tube flange. Steel. Telephone. Keep. All right, concierge terminal. What we got here? Welcome to the Shard. Attention, all. Welcome to the Shard, London's premier luxury hotel and residence. Send our warmest greetings to all guests arriving during this tremulous time. Rest assured, your comfort and safety are top pro. Please enjoy your stay, and don't hesitate to contact our concierge for any assistance required. Throw the peasants out. Attention all staff. In the light of ongoing resource war and heightened security measures, it's imperative that we maintain strict access protocol. Please remember that individuals of lower standing or class are permitted entry into the building under any circumstance. Report any breaches immediately to the Wouldn't the hotel staff count as lower class? Attention all staff, we are experiencing minor issues with plumbing in several guest rooms on the 12th floor. Maintenance has been informed and is currently addressing the situation. Guests affected have been relocated at Be fixed within the week or you can find yourselves another job. Thank you for your attention on the matter. Don't let the mice in. Attention all staff, we continue our valley defense against unexpected visitors. Mice. Let's ensure our hotel remains impenetrable. Keep the access points to the shard locked tighter than a jar of warmite. And report any suspicious characters, human or mite, pronto. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. Now back to looting. When I am. Or ration. I guess I can possibly eat. A cooking stove. Really, I can like roast. It. Like. Oh. Huh. I can roast the meat that I got from those rats. Fragmentation mine, my very first weapon. Better than nothing. I'll just have to be really careful that we don't blow ourselves up. I actually forgot how to use grenades. So that's fun. I think I just hold G, yeah. through there. Flipping texture. Uh-oh.
here. Broken Angel, find a way out. The lift? Or he? I want to go to the lift. There could be beds up there. We can sleep. Going up. Going up. Well, they did mention something about the 12th floor being like flooded or something. A little bit more than seven. Yeah. Oh God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Aren't yeah. I? Hey, stop. <laughs> We're right back at the beginning, aren't we? <laughs> oh, survival. Oh no, we're here. You really gave us like a quick save. There weren't going to be any quick saves. Before we start looting more stuff, let me drop the stuff that we dropped before. I could go ahead and drink until I'm full of health. I think we might do that. We'll get us irradiated, but we do need health. And I think we have some uh, right away or something. I've never had to do this before. Never had to like resort to like drinking from a toilet or something like that in order to get help. <laughs> I may have drank a little bit. More rations. Grab my line from here. Play. Right. I'm able to sleep on this. Okay. If I slept, it might teleport me somewhere because of Sleepwalker. Going up. All right. This time, let's not get killed by rats. One. Before I saw another one before. Did we not? Accessible. That one's clearly inaccessible. Yep. There's one more. Crap. Hey, hey, no. Why do rad shrews have poison? Okay, how about this? Before we go upstairs, or before we loot anything, why don't we just go upstairs? Make sure that we can kill those things. Back to it.
look and be amazed as I drink the thing from feet away. keep looking at like furniture I'm like hey can I you know what we might as well just go grab all this in here I don't know why I'm so loose maybe there's like something I can use the weapon up here I don't know who 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 really knows right <clears throat> not even like an umbrella Well, I could use the landmine and kill one of them, right? Need a fig what? Hold on. Settings. Controls. That's his Q. I was pressing V. Why was I pressing V? If I can get one with that, I'm taking any damage. Then, I'll probably take the other one, right? Going up. That's what I think. Who knows? Boy, mate. All of it. Okay, one down. Another one. There's multiple. Oh god, there's multiple. Okay. Well, obviously we cannot go there yet because we are not strong enough to survive a couple of freaking mice. Yeah, I don't think there's a way that we're gonna ever strong enough to survive up there. So let's go to the other option we have for a. After we do some on our end. Oh, I'm still switching. I'll wait. Alright, let's go. Dispensers are so low. Like actually insane. You're gonna make their guests reach down that far. <laughs> I don't want to get more resinous. Bowler hat. Grab our frag mine. Okay. Yeah, we're just not going to worry about that place right now. We're gonna go to the bridge station. Hopefully find a bed to sleep in at some point. We can find a bed somewhere. We will be odd. Well. You suppose a broom is a weapon? Nope. 
Oh god, I can zoom. All right. I'm just free. I don't need that right now. Uh, no, no thanks. How do I throw a grenade? Are you kidding me? Right now? Get closer. Come on. not get poisoned at least bloody surgical those why would you put bloody surgical helps back you're done using them well we have a way to heal ourselves but you know what i would love any sort of weapon Even if it's not a melee weapon, I'll take like a... Damn, they got fucking eaten alive, I guess. Not necessarily eaten alive, but they got eaten. Punched on by those rats. friend go there he is nope oh you piece of shit why does poison take so much of my health away absolutely ludicrous That's a weapon, right? Hell yeah, brother. All right. Finally got a weapon. We are half a gentleman. Antibiotics. Understand what that is. Yeah, okay. They're condoms. I know how these work. Go. All right. We got ammunition. We got rugs. That everything's just like robbed for when I put my first bottle. Yeah, pretty water, better than no water. Wait, is that a new cola, a whole one? So just beer again. I think tickets are the currency. Why, boy? Need more pounds. Rain map. Take shot of. Oh,
Yeah. Direct rad shrew. Yeah. Yo, this is a really like good looking cake, considering this probably was pre-war at the time when it was made. Oh, I was hoping I could like smash him over. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why a wooden cane is making like arcs. I think wafers. I kind of want some wafers now. I'll buy some wafers when I go to the. Although, I don't know. What's this then? I could have just jumped this, couldn't I have? Wall up, okay. That was a wreck. I was gonna like Why? Why though? Why would seeing a rad shrew scare me? Killed me like 80 times already. What the health point? Help point, okay. Rickety frack. Let me get me me. <laughs> so one hit with the uh the cane then. Oh. How's that? Some more bobby pins. Drop some more stuff. Guess I'll drop some welding goggles. All those lab coats do weigh quite a bit. More valuable stuff. I guess. Out of the way, Scott. So only one of the players I can up, which is this one, which has a lot. Right? Okay. Well, 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 looky here. We look to appear to have come up on London, eh? I don't know the fuck I'm trying to say. Just. Okay. Level one, bros. <sighs> Um, but um, but um, but um, the loading screens do seem a little bit long. like fallouts were, you know? It might be because there's less optimization with the mod, potentially. Loading time. That's fine. I don't mind a little. As long as it's not like happening every day. Hey, right. mind again. No, no. I didn't want on this. This kidnapping. Hear me? Kidnapping. This is good place. The I just get up here. Right the way this thing is shaking. Well, we can get a little bit of a tour of the city that we're going. Hey, what? What was that say? Sir? Then I died. I, I didn't expect him to have a move to break.
think we crashed. Could you imagine? That was like a bad end. You get on the train and you just die and they have to like reload you or something. See, the, 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 why, why another loading screen right now? Just because I got on a train? There was a loading screen followed by like a minute followed by another loading screen. Come on, y'all. For healthy impact, really. You know what's uh, a little bit risky? Since we're on survival, I need to sleep in order to save and regain health and stuff like that. If we were to sleep, is it going to save before or after we wake up and move somewhere because of Sleepwalker? Anyway, what are those science did to you? It took a toll on your body. If you find a cure for this ailment, you'll take 10% more damage in combat. Bro. The crash left you rattle, and it will take more than its impact to fix this kind of damage. Until you seek out a medical professional, you will deal 10% less damage in combat. Anything else? Anyone else want to stack on another debuff to me? I'm in. I need a bed. Could you imagine if I died and have to go through all that again? I mean, discover train came in from. I don't like that. Bill Winston, Bastion, Donnie Shrapnel. I don't know if I have to like. Sounded painful if you ask me. Better not be those dogs up to something. I swear if it is. Not everything's the dogs, Johnny. You look like shit, mate. You are right. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the lab rat, you made it out. You're in the right state, ain't you? Never had a crash down here before. What do you mean I'm a lab rat? All right, stay. Come here. <clears throat> How does he know I'm a lab rat? I mean, I'm wearing a lab coat. I could be a scientist, right? Name's Gaunt. Sebastian Gaunt. And these dredges are Chill Winston and Johnny Shrapnel. But you can ignore Johnny. We're the vagabonds. We're the roughest, toughest, sharpest gang round these parts. Not like the dogs. Snuff it, Johnny. Don't scare away our new acquaintance. So, who are you exactly? Let's see. Unclear. I like the last one. It's not like I'm being vague or. This one's like, I'm not really sure. Uh, oh. 
Is there a problem, or are you just enjoying the silence? Enjoy the silence. Maybe you should, uh, keep it up. The silence. Only the gentry use those trains. Looks like you're the wayfarer now, like the rest of us. Let's see. What is this place? Lewisham, or what's left of it. Okay, great explanation. The the Isle of Dogs syndicate. Johnny gets a bit excited about him. Okay. Uh, if I can join the Isle of Dogs syndicate, I might just do that because I don't really like anything that has syndicate. Yeah, you were in the lab, right? Yeah, he was supposed to be a supply run. We bought the location off someone in Thameshaven. Some old construction papers. Not in good shape. Well then, Wayfarer, seems like you've got two choices. You could head down that way to the Thames folk. Ain't exactly pleasant to look at, but appearances can be deceiving. They may even know a thing or two about that lab, seeing as they sold us the location. Otherwise, you can stick it out with me and my mates. We help you out, you help us out. What's wrong with the Thames folk? Mm. How can I put this nicely? They look like chewing gum stamped into the pavement. Let's just say that we're not the only gang sniffing around London. And we need help dealing with the competition. Obviously, we'd give you a little pick-me-up first. What if none of that sounds appealing? You could just wander off in a random direction. But I wouldn't recommend it. Fair. I doubt that you'd last long in your state. Can't tell me where to go. I do as I please. You know what? That is a bang. Right. Well, let's think about my character, shall we? He has no intelligence. Right. These are the first guys we've met. Problem. Who are you just enjoying the silence? Seem to want to help us. We're gonna have to stick it out with them for now. Ace. We could use an extra pair of hands. Here, take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. Ooh. Nice. So that last thing there. Does that mean I can talk to a blacksmith at some point? Have them like touch this baby up, or does that mean I can like repair it? All right, let's see. Well, it definitely does more damage. Yeah. All right. Oh, ho, oh, baby. Okay. You know what? Oops, that's what I wanted to I want to do a uh, toggle walking. Caps lock before, but. Right. Oops, sorry, you were saying. As this seems to be a prime rabbit in the headlights situation, I'll give you a rundown of who's who in old Blighton, shall I? First up, there's us. We're the Vagabonds. Used to be big names in South London till a couple of things went awry. But enough about that till later. The cunts who made things go awry are the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. There's a fucking lot of them, and they all walk around with the gentry reserves in their sky rocket, so they've got tickets to burn. They got that bees and honey dancing with the gentry. The gentry rule from their ivory towers, pissing off their pedestals from Westminster. Forget trying to get in there. Those gates are tighter than a duck's arse. Why are they so tight, you ask? Because they've got the Tommies to defend them. Powerful enough to take the peace, too stupid to keep it. Which means the occasional toe rags crop up and have a punt at blighty leadership. This brings me to the dress-up factions. Take your pick. Camelot, ye oldy tin man knights in Wandsworth. Or if you fancy painting it black, you've the fifth column tyrants in Tower Hamlets. Next on the list, you the twats in the periphery. Hooligans that'll smack you. 
Beef eaters than leecher. Jack tars will stick a cannon up your ass. Roundels in Hackney. Well, they keep to themselves unless you've got a thing against scooters. Miller's men are the slapheads over in Islington. Neighbouring next to them are the pistols in Camden who wants anarchy in the UK. All of that makes sense. So, as life dictates, you should probably stick with us. Know what I mean? The rest you can work out yourself, because I'm tired of monologuing. But yeah, if they shoot at you, they ain't your mate. Guns are more common round here these days. He keeps talking, but I want to point out that, that um, I think the, the pistols... It's a reference to the sex pistols, isn't it? And? Ever since Enfield opened its doors to all and sundry, you'll need to keep your head down. You ain't in that test tube anymore, sunshine. Now, left, right, left, right. I think they call it walking. The game is so dark. It really like sets a mood. For Roman day though. There it is, Greenwich Station. We've got a small camp across the road. Um. Okay. I thought I was going to be like a uh, enemy or something. The fuck? What? Ricky, what the fuck? They attacked us, took us by surprise. How many? Human. Two or three IODs. Hold Fucking on. dogs. Fuck them all. And what the fuck were they doing here? They... They were... I feel faint. Christ, you're pathetic. Wayfarer, get a first aid kit from Greenwich Station. More bodies getting shot done never hurt anything. Hilarious. Hold on a second, I'm gonna, uh... Spiffy up a little bit, lads. There we go. Now I look the part. Well, actually, you know what? I want my old hat back. Also, we have a, a bed here that we can... You no. Know. Can I use any of these beds? Guys, please. If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Please, I need, I need, I need to sleep. Look where you're going. Okay, well, first off, look at the perks. Well, unfortunately, the way that the perks work here isn't like the Fallout 4 version, where you see a like grid and it goes in like that, right? Uh, instead, we have a list here that we're going to have to read, go through, and figure out what the hell we're doing, right? So first of all, we need to disconnect. Thank you. We're going to be uh, getting that as high as we possibly can before we... You know, oh, sleep bag. Nice. Now... Go ahead and wait a couple hours. Sleep. That way it's daylight out. And did we wake up somewhere we should not have? I wonder if Sleepwalker triggers every single time. Or if it's just when we like have it randomly happen. No? Well, I must be somewhere else because I don't think it would take this long to load otherwise. Which, uh... <laughs> Or 
there's a loading. I, if I move my arm a little bit here. Huh. Nope, okay. Can't move my models off. Maybe I can just... Right there. Nope. Can't sleep more than three hours on sleep bed. Well, thanks for telling me that. But, uh... Why the... Why did it take so long to do that, then? Didn't sleep walk. Mm hmm. I sell anything to any of y'all. If you hang round, wouldn't we need to be something. We need the numbers. You the one helping out. Good, didn't your mum teach you better? You're right. A new face. You sticking it's it out. It's a good day to get things done. I wouldn't tarry if I were you. We won't fall to the likes of the dogs or anyone else. Okay. Well, I think what I can do here is I can go ahead and store some stuff here. I do not necessarily need. I'm not really gonna take any drugs. I don't need them. me out when it health got some food got some water we get rid of the uh <clears throat> anyway put this I'm put this in I would hit store all but uh, there's no sprawls take. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna store all of our junk in here. But I forgot I can just like hammer down E and also my uh, mouse button. All right, now we're down to 13 pounds of carrot, which is excellent. Actually, we'll be down a little bit more after I eat food. sleep another hour just to save after I all that. Okay. Excellent, but we're still a little bit tired. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll wrap things up here. We managed to get out of the uh, place and thing, and then we'll kind of do nice little chunks here wherever we can. Whenever there's like a, oh, the, the end of a mission or set of mission. Did something like that ends. Next time... We go into Greenwich Station, trying to find a med kit for this guy, and hopefully don't die to a bunch of rad shrews. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.